The North Channel cuts across the top of Lake Huron, forming a uh, deep water channel uh, between the northern shore of Lake Huron and Manitoulin Island. Getting here is, is no problem at all. We charted an O'Day 35 out of Gore Bay through Canadian yacht charters. Now just, just straight up, Joy. I took the uh, little dinghy once we'd anchored for the evening and went off, landed just off some rocks, climbed around up on the, up on the hill, had a great view all around. It was very peaceful. The sun was just kind of starting to go down. There are 22 Apostle Islands. The missionaries named them uh, the Apostles because they thought there was 12. Some of my favorite islands are Mantu, Oak, Otter, Raspberry. Sailing in the Apostles uh, encompassed probably a 20 mile square. It's line of sight navigation. There is uh, not a lot of protected coves, but there are good secure anchorages with good holding ground in hard sand. Up on Raspberry, they have the lighthouse keeper in a uniform of that era. And he describes his life on the island uh, back in the, in the 1920s. And magnify it and condense it into a beam. It can be seen clear out past that little teeny island out there. The Great Lakes are one of the most popular cruising areas in the entire country. These large inland seas are sprinkled with islands and their shores lined with friendly ports of call. To see what makes this area so popular, Sailing Quarterly headed out to sample the charming little towns nestled deep in the thick Michigan woods. Who'd ever think that just several hours north of the hustle and bustle of Detroit and Chicago, such pristine wilderness areas beckon sailors. We chartered our boat from Bay Breeze's Yacht Charters in Traverse City a comfortable and reliable cruising boat, the Morgan 38. Captain Jack Klang, a Bay Breeze skipper and longtime cruiser on the Great Lakes, was on hand to tell us about the area. Sailing from Traverse City, you've got uh, two bays, East and West Bay. We pass Sutton's Bay on West Bay and the North Port. Uh, and as we get to the north end of Grand Traverse Bay, uh, we then can head for Charlevoix, uh, Beaver Island, and Harbor Springs. Most sailing trips start at the dock when you pull out a chart of your local waters and decide where to sail. But for trailer boaters, the trip starts with a road atlas and a cross-country trip to their destination. And one of the most popular trailer boating stops for southwestern sailors is Lake Powell, located in a primitive desert of southwest Utah. Josh, Matt, Rhett and Todd's excellent adventure here. The trip was partly inspired by Rhett's study of Indians in school. So we searched out a local expert, Stan Jones. In terms of the amount of water that it contains, it's the second largest man-made lake in the United States. And it's, but its shoreline is the largest. It has approximately 1,900 miles of shoreline. We have 252 square miles of water surface. And for a sailor, that's a lot of water. If the wind was right, you could sail from Wauwee to Hike, which is 141 miles. And I don't know one inch of it that isn't beautiful in some way. 